you're watching Adventure Sean where it's the final day of my trip here to Scotland and you know what I've had an absolutely incredible time if you haven't already check out the various different vlogs I've filmed in the dedicated playlist here on the channel yesterday I climbed all the way to the summit of Ben Nevis the tallest mountain here in the United Kingdom and I've seen various other uh, different sites and some beautiful scenery across the past five days so if you haven't already go and check out those other videos today the sun is shining really really warm this morning for something quite special now uh, I've just parked up here at the Glen Finnan Visitor Centre it's cost me three pounds um, just to park the car on here uh, you can keep it here all day there's a monument to see some beautiful scenery and stunning walks around here but the main thing that I've come to see is the Glen Finnan Viaduct and you can just see it there in the distance um, but you can actually get a lot closer to it so I've parked on here I'm going to show you the route so we're going to walk out the car park take a right turn and follow it round and get closer to the viaducts. Uh, now what's quite special about this is that steam trains cross it and you also may recognize it as it's a very popular film location that was used um, for Harry Potter so this is really exciting I'm actually going to be covering a lot of Harry Potter film locations um, in the coming months on the channel so stay tuned for that uh, but yeah the Glenfinnan viaduct we're going to get nice and close to it but not only that in about an hour's time there's going to be a steam train but not just any steam train the Jacobite steam train is going to be crossing over the viaduct so I need to get a move on I need to walk around there I think it's maybe going to take 20 minutes to half an hour to walk around but I'm not too sure uh, but luckily the sun's shining it's a gorgeous day we can get set up around there uh, from reading online it gets very very busy so you want to get here early if you're going to be doing this let's get around there get a spot um, up there on the hillside looking at the viaduct and yeah we're going to get to see a steam train crossing over and bring back them Harry Potter memories of course and you're going to really recognize the scenery from the movies so uh, we're going to go off the car park take a right and yeah let's go and have a look So it's only been about two minutes since I walked off the car park. You then want to take a right turn here where you can see the little bus shelter and towards this gate. And we're going to carry straight on down the road just here. Uh, but I just thought I'd mention this. So you've got the hashtag, the We Harry Potter Bridge Project uh, that's currently taking place. So they are building a brand new car park over to the right hand side and also loads of new pathways, uh, a bridge as well. And of course, it all needs the funding. So go and give them some support as you can see here because over 350,000 thousand people are coming here every year now and they haven't got the infrastructure to cope with that many people so they really need the support and um, like I say the car park's under construction at the moment um, but yeah they're still fundraising for this fantastic project so as you can see uh, they've got a little donation tub down there on the right hand side um, so yeah make a donation if you come in here I've just put um, some coins in that I had it's rare that you have cash isn't it these days with the virus um, it's mostly car payments but um, yeah put a few uh, pounds in that I had uh, spare because it's going to a great cause isn't it to help them uh, make this a safer access and hopefully people won't have to then walk along the side of the road here uh, I imagine the new car park's going to be on the right hand side and they'll put a bridge in going straight across onto this pathway so right let's Let's carry on. I've been walking for about five minutes down the road there and I tell you what the views are absolutely incredible and we just had our first view looking at the viaduct and uh, now when you get to this point um, you actually see the path on the right hand side and the little bridge just there that's where you want to be turning off to the left as you can see there's a nice clear signpost here as well saying viaduct trail and viewpoint so we want to be following this up this way now as we can see there's already a few people waiting about around here with probably about 45 minutes to go until the train's going to be making its way over the viaducts but here we go some fantastic views from here 
look at this really really nice i mean i imagine it looks great seeing the steam train come over from anywhere around here but uh, obviously we're going to try and get up to that main viewpoint as close as we can do so yeah going to follow it around this way we're actually past underneath the viaduct so i want to take a right turn here as you can see it gives us lots of information here we're currently uh coming up just under here we're going to follow it around and then try and get somewhere up here so yeah probably not going to take too far in total it took me about 10 minutes to get from the car park so far It's absolutely stunning to see, isn't it? Even without a steam train going over, it's an absolutely incredible structure. And it's already starting to get pretty busy up there in the best viewing locations. As you can see, people just camped out there up on the hillside, waiting for the steam train to come along. So that's exactly where I'm gonna go now. And I'll sit and wait, and just take in this absolutely beautiful scenery. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely spectacular. Follow it around this way, and I'll see you up there at the viewing point.
Well, that really was absolutely stunning, wasn't it? Got a massive smile on my face when I was filming that. Just sat there watching it come over in this beautiful location. Seeing the Jacobite steam train cross over the iconic Glenfinnan viaduct has been a bucket list of mine for a while. And that was incredible, it really was. Had the perfect view just up there on the hillside as well. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's some other fantastic viewpoints, but I think it'd take a lot um, to beat that for me. Uh, perfect, just looking down on it. It was absolutely stunning. And as you saw, there was quite a crowd uh, that gathered up there. A lot of Harry Potter fans it seems as well, uh, of course, to come and see that. Um, and talking of Harry Potter, this is the first of quite a few different film locations from Harry Potter that I'm going to be filming here on Adventure Sean. Uh, probably going to be doing some more this winter on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Plan on going round um, and seeing a few of the different locations that are used in the Harry Potter film. So that's something to look forward to here on Adventure Sean. Uh, well, this has been wonderful. It's my last day here in Scotland today, uh, and you know what? Seeing that has been fantastic yeah you know i could just cross over on a normal train uh, but now i want to be on the steam train and i'll do that at some point in the future that can be a further adventure on this channel uh, but yeah in terms of getting down here you want to allow probably 30 minutes i'd say if you're parking up there on the visitor center uh, to walk down the road it's nice and easy um, onto the main road on the path there and then take a right turn follow it down uh, and then a left up the up the hill so really nice and easy to get that view and like i say you can see it from anywhere around here you can even stand here down the bottom where i am now uh, and get a great view of it but um, in my opinion you want to be a little bit higher up so you can see it and really feel it as well and wave at everybody on there honestly what a fantastic um, experience to come and see that and the scenery around here is absolutely gorgeous yet again uh, but there we go thanks for joining me in the second to last vlog from this trip to Scotland uh, I've got one more video coming up I'm going to take a nice scenic drive um, from Fort William uh, through Loch Lomond and put some footage in of that um, so stay tuned for that here on Adventure Sean Thank you very much for watching and of course get yourselves down here and come and check this out especially if you're a harry potter fan get out there and have your own adventures see you soon